Uh, <laughs> you, what? Oh my god, dude! Look at that! Dude! <laughs> what is up? My name is Matt. Welcome to Back to Gone Digging. Reach down there and click that like button right now because I know you're going to like this video. If you haven't already, consider subscribing for more hunts like this. This is absolutely awesome. We're going to start at the end of the day and we're going to go work all the way back to the beginning. All right. I may be at what's my last signal, but that is a pistol bullet, Civil War. Um, really awesome. I'm not sure what variant is. I don't know if it's fired or not. So we'll have to take that back and clean it up. Kind of looks like it may be fired, but I'm not real sure. That's a keeper. This may be the worst live dig in history. We always got Bob to show me the right way. Oh, there it is. All the way down there. What is that? Oops. Is that a button? I think it's a leather attachment. Yep. There we go. Nice big leather attachment. Me and Frankie have been talking about how there hasn't been a lot of big coppers come out of here and I think that I got one. It was just a banging signal. Frank, you reach down there and grab that thing right there. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a fatty. Oh my gosh, that thing is gorgeous. Big penny. That's pretty too. 1850. I don't know. Yeah, 1850. Nice detail. Sweet. That's a pretty one, that's man. Pretty. Heck yeah. That makes my day right there. That's awesome. I mean, just screaming too. So, that's cool, man. Look at that. It's pretty. Beautiful tumback button. Uh, 62 on the dais. And uh, <coughs> hunting my custom mid deep program. And uh, beautiful. Oh it's, oh, it's tacoed. Be something on there. Oh, that's a massive flat button. How cool would it be if that was a GW? That was just like screaming too. So Frankie says there's a lot of buttons over in this area. So maybe there's something really good. A nice high tone 86. And I see it right there. I'm betting that's an Indian. No, it's a wheat. Um, I don't know, it's pretty on the back though. I don't know, we'll clean it up and see what it is. Not bad. I was looking and looking and looking and uh, look at that nice early little buckle. That is 1600s all day long. That is awesome. Man, that's cool. Maybe there's more in here. So I've been, since I found that, and I, uh, since I found that buckle, I opened it up what is a colonial pit. Um, as you can see, lots of shards of glass, um, oyster shells, piles of oyster shells, um, and then lots of bone uh, from eating whether it's pigs or cows, whatever they were eating at the time, and lots of broken glass. Now, I never expect to find anything whole in one of these things. All I hope for is a neck or a bottom, just because I think they're neat, or maybe a pipe stem. Um, and in this pit, oh, that's a big piece of bone. In this pit, um, I can't find a direction to go, so I just picked one and went where I thought the most glass was, and that way is the most glass. And I uh, found a bottom, and I found a really neat piece of uh, this pottery, and uh, I'll show you that when we're all done. So I'm going to drop this wall right here, and uh, I'm probably going to open it up a little bit more, um, 
but my guess is it goes all the way down this hillside here and uh, it's it's gonna be massive so I just don't I won't have enough time today to dig all this by myself it's windy and it's cold laying down here on the ground so I'm gonna open this up and see if we can find a little more glass maybe uh, another piece of that crock thing so a lot of this stuff was broken because it was used and uh, I think that's a big piece of cow bone right there. But, uh, if you were wealthy enough to live in Virginia in the early 1600s, you may be wealthy enough to have your own bottles made for you. And when that happens, they would put seals on them with your name, and that piece is broken. But, I'm hoping to find a, bale, uh, a bottle seal in here. So, I missed a piece of pipe bowl, but I'm gonna keep looking. Uh, interesting thing, oysters were not considered uh, food for the people who lived here. They were generally for the servants. Um, I guess they didn't like oysters then. I personally love them. So, the biggest oyster shells you'll ever see in your life come out of these colonial pits. So, it's pretty tight. Alright, I got all this all cleaned up. Like I said, I'm sure this thing goes on forever. Um, I gotta kick some more dirt back on the top, but ended up with a little pile of broken glass there and a little pile of broken glass here. Now I'll clean it up and see what it looks like. I need to figure out something to do with it, but until then, we're gonna go get the machine, start swinging again. All right, I'm sorry if the wind's rough, um, but I just popped out that looks like a collar stud, so that's pretty neat. Um, that was a pretty good tone too, I was, but I've been digging a lot of garbage, little piece of lead and stuff like that, so I'm stoked to have that. Just popped this plug here and I saw a little green disc roll out. That looks like a nice colonial flat button. So, that's alright. It's a loud signal, 71. I'm still a little stunned. I'm still a little stunned by Frankie's coin, but I got something here. I thought it was a piece of grass, but it looks like it's a piece of jewelry of some sort. It's got a little gold gilt hidden in there. So, cool. Let's see what that is. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, man. Oh, what? I think it's an eight. Oh my God, dude! Look at that! Dude! <laughs> Holy smoking <gasps> Joes! That's an eight! <laughs> Second one, guys! Yeah! Second one! Holy crap! Put some, hold on, put some water on that joker. 1802. Oh my god, dude! Man. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Frankie was bouncing up and down, and I was oh like, what are man, you. Dude. Hold on, let me get some water on it. I'm shaking. <laughs> let me get some I water on that. Holy smokes, man. You said Look it was how deep that was, dude. My machine stopped picking it up and I had to get it with the pinpointer. Dude. <laughs> dude, you gotta be joking me. Let me put Oh look. my gosh. Did you, did you get that in the dirt? Yeah. yeah you got that? <laughs> you uh man. you posted that one last night and I was like, man, how cool would that be? Oh, it's got the reeded edge, man. I'm shaking. I cannot believe it, man. I can't believe it. Let me I gotta get some water. Oh my goodness. Dude, that is absolutely incredible. Guys, I mean, wow. Holy smokes. <sighs> there it is. I love the big silvers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, roll, flip that other side over. Oh my <laughs> gosh, man. Yes. What yes. in the world? That is freaking incredible, dude. I would have never thought I'd have found another one of these, <laughs> let alone, I mean, just wow. Wow. Uh -huh. How, what is that, your third target today? Yes. And anybody who has ever held one, it's such a huge piece of silver. <laughs> what in the world, man? We've been out here for like 15 minutes. Fighting in the iron. That was my second target. First target was that shoe buckle, and there's my third target. 
<laughs> Dude, these people had some money to lose that. Man. I man. thought, honestly, man, I thought you had a gold coin. I did. Well, I did. I, I saw that and was like, oh my God. Oh, Dude. It's what it's about, fellas. Sunday fun day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to take this back to the truck. <laughs> We're doing our best not to give this spot away. So if you see some blurred stuff in the background, you'll know why. Because there are eight reals here. <laughs> oh, man. AT Pro, amphibian headphones, stock coil, and. Uh, What'd you say that thing rang up, man? Uh, it, it was like a 20 something with a blip of an 85. And once I popped the plug, the signal disappeared. I'm like, okay, maybe I shoved it further in the hole. So I took another plop out and still nothing. And I stuck my pinpointer in there and picked it up and then I just plopped it out the bottom of the hole. I mean, it was deep. Not sure how the AT picked it up before popping the plug and not afterwards. But it doesn't matter because I got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're working on uh, some different signals here, and uh, my first good target of the day. That looks like, is that a coin or a button? It's a beautiful colonial button. It's got some funky green on it. Maybe it has something on it. Cool. All right, we're trying to block the wind. Frankie just called me over. What you got? Dude! What are these guys? Look at that! Oh man! Complete too, man. Out in the plow field that blows me away. Beautiful. Boom! That's awesome. Killer colonial shoe buckle. Let's see if we can get this. Alright, so we dug some trash and some iron. And that doesn't account for the pile that I got sitting on the edge of the field we got to pick up on the way back. Um, there's a lot of Frankie's brass. Oh man, it's a lot of little miscellaneous brass pieces and piece of wire and all kinds of stuff. Flat buttons and stuff. I don't know if it was shotgun. Uh, shotgun shell. There's a few in there in the tom back. But <laughs> all that junk makes that worth it. And that thing's cool. If anybody's never held one of these things, which I have very rarely done, you got, I mean, they're heavy as crap. Uh, this real neat shoe buckle. Oh, let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. And uh, uh, that's an early one, that little bitty buckle. Yeah, a bunch of little tiny buckles. Yeah. Buttons. Knickknacks. Pretty you know, green Indian. Nice Indian, yeah. Couple leather ornaments. So what we'll do is we'll clean it all up and snap a photo. I got a, a lot of leather ornaments and some flat buttons. This really nice early 1600s uh, with a spectacle, spectacle buckle. Yeah. Um, and then some weird stuff, some weird brass. Oh, I didn't show you that. That got me going. Hmm. It's an aluminum fork. Aluminum? I mean, I'm 90% sure. Yeah, feels like it. That was it. Interesting. Play fork, maybe, for a kid. So, all in all, that, uh, that's a good day. What do you think, Frankie? It's entertaining as always. <laughs> day of digging is better than any other day I can think of. <laughs> That's right. So uh, we hope you like this video. If you do, reach down and click that like button. If you haven't already, click subscribe, and uh, we'll do some more of this. How about how about that? What? I think we get 200 likes on this video. We should. Y'all should like this. If anything, well, I mean, it's old stuff we found. <laughs> That's right. We'll see you next time. My name is Matt. That's Frankie. Thanks for watching.